This is Alex. Alex studies business administration and economics at Paderborn University. In big lectures, he feels less confident at times and especially lacks the courage to ask questions about anything he doesn't quite understand. And he finds it hard to concentrate for long periods, sometimes having to listen for up to 90 minutes at a time. What's more, not long after the lecture, he can hardly remember much of the content, which in any case he struggled to fully understand in the first place. However, Alex is not an isolated case, as this happens to lots of students. Meet Professor Brown. He is Professor of Business and Economics at Paderborn University. He too isn't entirely sure how much of the content his students have actually understood. Only rarely do they ask any questions. He's wondering whether there's a better way to deliver the lectures to make them participate more actively and thereby help his students. This is where Pingo steps in. So what exactly is Pingo and how does it work? Pingo is an IT-supported teaching and learning tool which facilitates peer learning even in larger groups. Peer learning helps students to better comprehend and retain material which has been taught. A core element of Pingo is to actively involve students in the lectures by making them work through tasks. At the same time, Professor Brown is able to monitor his students' progress through the responses to tasks, which in turn enables him to adapt the content of the remaining lectures accordingly. The tool involves four steps. Let's take a closer look. In the first step, Professor Brown presents the main components of his lecture. Then he sets a task which gives a choice of potential answers amongst which students have to identify the correct one. Professor Brown uses the web-based Pingo software to assess students' answers. Each lecture is given a code which students need to enter in order to take part in the task. In step two, students read and work on the task independently. When Alex and the other students have decided on a solution, they go online via their laptop or their smartphone or other web-enabled devices and enter the lecture code. Now students can enter what they chose as the correct answer. This, however, has to be done within a limited time scale. Shortly before the end of the task, they will get an acoustic and a visual signal, enabling all students to enter their answer in time. Now Professor Brown can evaluate their answers, and depending on the results, he is able to move on to the next phase. Professor Brown, Alex, and his fellow students take a look at the distribution of the different answer options. Now there are three possible scenarios. In the easiest scenario, the majority of students give the correct answer. This indicates a high level of comprehension amongst themselves. Any remaining gray areas can be briefly elucidated before Professor Brown continues with his lecture. In cases where only a small proportion of students have answered correctly, Professor Brown can now repeat his presentation in greater depth and adapt it to questions raised before he resubmits the task to students, giving them another chance. Alex and his co-students can now follow the professor's explanation within a context which they already know and reconsider their answers. In the third scenario, where there is a mix of correct and incorrect answers, Professor Brown can introduce so-called peer discussions. This involves students mutually discussing their answers and exchanging the rationale for the solutions, which gives them once more the opportunity to engage with the taught content more intensively. Subsequently, Professor Brown opens up the task once more and students can enter the revised solutions to the task on the basis of their enhanced knowledge. Using Pingo, Alex and his fellow students can now take part in the lectures more actively, since the more intensive engagement with the material taught in the form of a peer discussion has enabled them to increase their understanding and to gain far greater benefit from the lectures.